Hey everybody, it's Heidi Fang here with Adam Hill, our MMA writer, and we're going to break down what just happened at UFC second Fight Island event featuring a vacant flyweight title bout between Davison Figueredo and Joseph Benavides. This being Benavides's fourth time getting a shot at the belt and Adam he did not succeed. The Cinderella story of Joseph Benavides finally getting to the big dance again and actually this time coming home with the belt did not come through for him. What did you make of Davis and Figueredo's performance, though? I mean, man, what a monster. Yeah, for sure. And I think, you know, while our immediate reaction, I think, after the fight for a lot of people is, you know, it really sucks for Joseph Benavides, a guy who's been a really good guy for a long time, a guy you know, around Las Vegas, who's been here for a long time. Everybody in the MMA world seemed to be kind of pushing for him a little bit. You saw on Twitter, everybody was kind of rooting for him. Uh, so I think the immediate reaction is to feel bad for Joseph Benavides and, and falling short once again for the title. But man, when you look back at this fight, it is, you know, the birth of the star of Devastin Figueredo, perhaps. I mean, he's a guy with so much power in this weight class, which is very rare to see. He's got finishing potential uh, as a striker. He, he showed tonight how good he could be uh, on the ground as well, uh, locking in several uh, rear, rear naked chokes before one finally worked uh, on Benavides and put him out. Man, it was just an incredible performance, uh, and I think that eventually will be the takeaway from this fight. All right, let's get into the co-main event. We saw Kelvin Gastelum get submitted by a heel hook uh, by Jack Hermanson, this one being quite a performance and a quick one at that for Hermanson. What do you think is next for him here in the middleweight division? Yeah, well, I mean, he laid it out, right? I mean, after his win, he, he proposed like the next 16 fights in the middleweight division, I feel like. Uh, <laughs> he wants to fight the winner of, of next week's battle between Robert Whitaker and Darren Till. And then uh, he wants the middleweight title fight between Israel Adesanya and Paulo Costa. We saw that was just booked uh, for September. And then he wants Jared Cannonier to fight the winner of that. And then he said if he should beat Till or Whitaker, then maybe he would be able to fight either Cannonier again in a rematch to get that loss bag or finally fight for the title. He's got like the entire year planned out in the middleweight division. <laughs> why not just let him have it? I mean, why, why are the matchmakers even working? Let Jack or Manson uh, make, that, make that decision for everybody. I guess that's what we're going to do now. But um, I think he kind of earned the right to say whatever he wanted and kind of set up whatever fights he wanted to. Uh, really, really good performance. Uh, Kelvin Gastelum, who, uh, you know, he was on top, even though he didn't land anything. He kind of got there. Um, you know, it was a bit of a fluke to get in top position and then uh, try to stand up, which might have been the right move to get away from Hermanson on the ground, but uh, just got a little bit lazy and left his leg in there a little too long and uh, just wrapped it up and, and submitted him. It was a night of the, the heel hook, the knee bar, right. a lot of leg locks here. Well, let's talk about that knee bar. What a performance out of Ariane Lipsky. Man, she was super impressive in that. Just the way that she cranked on uh, Luana Carolina's leg, just it gave me like the pain in my own knee. So uh, what did you think of her performance? And is a star born where she's concerned? Yeah, um, we can talk about it as long as we don't have to watch it again. <laughs> nope. uh, and I think they showed it about 100 times on the replay. And then uh, even worse, somebody got a great shot. I think there's only one photographer there ringside uh, doing all the photos for everybody. And um, actually, I know who it is. <laughs> there's a guy, Jeff, who does a lot of photos, and he's very, very talented. That photo started circulating. And, man, just the, the position uh, that that knee was in as the tap came, that is not how a leg is supposed to bend. Uh, I was not happy watching that. I was not comfortable. I don't think a lot of people were. Uh, but I think one person who might have been uh, was Arian Lipsky. Uh, she is just violent in a very good way. And uh, she doesn't look like it. She doesn't seem like somebody who's that violent. And then she gets in the cage and just starts turning it on. So a uh, really, really impressive performance. And I think uh, certainly she has a chance to really uh, make a big move up the rankings. All right, well, that'll do it for our recap here on UFC Fight Night, Figueredo versus Benavides. You can keep up with everything Adam's doing in print as well. Check out the Review Journal to get all of that, and as well as ReviewJournal.com. For Adam Hill, I'm Heidi Fang. Thank you for watching.